गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे आई एम गोईंग टू डिसकस अबाउट न्यू यूनिट क्रिस्टल फिजिक्स ऑफ फिजिक्स थ्री सो वी हैव टू नो दैट मैटर इन यूनिवर्स इज मेनली क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री काइंड सॉलिड्स लिक्विड्स एंड गैसेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू नो दैट व्हाट यूनिवर्स सॉलिड्स all atoms or molecules are arranged in fixed manner and have definite shape and size is called a solid now liquid and gases means atoms or molecules are not fixed and cannot form any shape and size and they gain the shape and size in the container Now basically, solids are classified into two categories. One is crystalline solids, another is amorphous solids. So, what do you mean by crystalline solids? The solids in which atoms or molecules are arranged in regular and periodic manner in three-dimensional geometrical pattern are called as crystalline solids. and these solids have directional properties and called anisotropic substance example of crystalline solid that is metallics is gold silver aluminum non metallics means diamond silicon and sodium chloride second one going to discuss about amorphous solids amorphous solids means atoms or molecule are arranged in a irregular manner there is no lattice structure and the solids have no directional properties and are called an isotropic substance example glass plastic rubber etc now what is the difference between crystalline solids and amorphous solids crystalline solids atoms or molecule have regular periodic arrangements amorphous solids atoms or molecules are not arranged in a regular periodic manner they have random arrangement crystalline solids exhibit different magnitudes of physical properties in different direction but amorphous solids they exhibit the same magnitudes of physical properties in different direction crystalline solids they are anisotropic in nature amorphous solids they are in isotropic in nature crystalline solids exhibits directional properties but amorphous solid they do not exhibit directional properties crystalline solids they have some melting points amorphous solids that do not possess sub melting points crystalline solids that is if you break a crystals along a regular crystal planes and hence the crystal pieces have regular shape example copper silver aluminum etc but in amorphous solids if you to break into irregular shape due to lack of crystal planes glass plastic rubber etc now it's important terms lattice points the points in the space replacing the atoms in the structure of a crystal with regular periodic arrangements and have identical environments with respect to other points are called lattice points and this is called as lattice points in this figure primitive vectors the vectors which when repeated regularly given the array of lattice points in space lattice they are known as fundamental and transitional vector or basis vector or primitive vector in this figure are given some vector signs no space lattice or crystal lattice 
the regular orderly arrangements of lattice points in space which resemble the atoms or molecule in a crystal such that every point has same environment with respect to all other points is known as space lattice or crystal lattice. So, lattice basically the regular orderly arrangement of lattice points in space which resembles the atoms or molecules in a crystal such that every point has same environment with respect to all other points is known as space lattice or it is also called as crystal lattice. So, this crystal lattice is two dimensional and three dimensional. So, two dimensional space lattice means the regular orderly arrangement of lattice point in two dimensional space which resembles the atoms uh, molecules in a crystal such that every point has same environment with respect to all other points is known as two dimensional space lattice. Now, what do you mean by three dimensional? So, three dimensional space lattice means the regularly orderly arrangements of lattice points in three dimensional space which resembles the atoms or molecules in a crystal such that every point has same environment with respect to all other points is known as three dimensional space lattice. Now, what do you mean by basis? The set of atoms or molecules attached to each lattice point in a crystal structure, identical in composition, arrangements and orientations is called the basis of a crystal lattice. So, in these figures, here atoms or molecule here indicates and this is basis. So, lattice plus basis you get the crystals structure and it is also known as each lattice point at its in an atom is called as basis. So, this is very beautiful examples this is basis plus lattice and you have to find out the crystal structure. Now, going to discuss about unit cell. The smallest block or geometrical figure from which the crystal is built up by the repetition in three dimensions is called unit cell or the fundamental grouping of particles which are repeating entries is called unit cell. It is a fundamental elementary pattern. This unit cell is basic st structural unit or building blocks of crystal structure. Unit cell basically three dimensional and two dimensional. Mark in figure also. Now, fundamental types of lattice. Lattice can be found such that 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 for rotation axis carry the lattice into itself corresponding to rotation by 2, 2 pi by 2, 2 pi by 3, 2 pi by 4 and 2 pi by 6 radian and by integral multiple of this rotation. This rotation axis is denoted by 1, 2, 3 and 6 this is symbolically. But we cannot find a lattice that goes into itself under rotation such by 2 pi by 7 radian and 2 pi by 5 radian. Basically, a single molecules properly designed can have any degree of rotational symmetry, but an infinite periodic lattice cannot. We can make a crystal from molecule that individually have a 5 fold rotations and axis but we should not expect the lattice 
to have fivefold rotation. So, in this figure, we show that what happens if we try to try to construct a periodic lattice having fivefold symmetry. The pentagon do not fit together to fill all space, showing that we cannot combine fivefold point symmetry with the required in transitional periodicity. Two dimensional lattice types. In this figure, we drawn an arbitrary that is A1 and A2, a general lattice as this is known as a quick lattice and is invariant under rotation of rotation of 2 pi about any lattice points. But special lattice of the obiquic types can be invariant under rotation of 2 pi by 3, 2 pi by 4 and 2 pi by 6 under mirror reflection. We must impose restrictive condition on A1 and A2 if we want to construct a lattice that will be invariant under one or more these new operations and these are four distinct types restrictions and each leads to what we may call a special lattice types. Thus, there are five distinct lattice types in two dimensions and the obic lattice of the four special lattice. In this figure, so Bravo lattice is the common phase for a distinct lattice types, we say that there are five Bravo lattice in two dimension. Three dimensional lattice types. The point symmetry groups in three dimensional require the 14 different lattice types listed in this table. The general lattice is triclinic and there are 13 special lattice. These are grouped to convenience into system classified according to seven types of cell which are triclinic, monoclinic, orthorhombic, tetragonal, cubic, trigonal and hexagonal. So, first is crystal structure cubic lattice parameter alpha a equal to b equal to c and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree. Second word tetragonal tetragonal is a not equal to a equal to b not equal to c and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree. Orthorhombics a not equal to b not equal to c and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree. Monoclinic a not equal to b not equal to c and alpha equal to beta equal to 90 degree and gamma not equal to 90 degree. Triclinic A not equal to B not equal to C and alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma not equal to 90 degree. Rhombohedral that is trigonal. Trigonal means A not equal to B A sorry A equal to B equal to C and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma not equal to 90 degree. Hexagonal A equal to B not equal to C and alpha equal to beta equal to 90 degree and gamma 120 degree. Now crystallographic axis. These are the lines drawn parallel to the lines of intersection of any three phase of the unit cell which do not lose in the same plane OX, OY and OZ. Primitives, the three sides of unit cells are called primitives. It is denoted by A, B, C and they are also known as lattice constant. They are also called as a 
lattice constant. Interfacial angles. The angles between three crystallographic axes of the unit cells are called interfacial angles. That is in this figure now I am showing about the showing about angle between y and z is alpha, angle between z and x axis is beta and x and y axis is gamma. So, a, b, c you have to know that primitives and alpha, beta, gamma is interfacial angles. Bravo's lattice in 1948 Bravo shows that there are 14 ways of arranging points in space lattice. Under the seven crystal systems to describe a crystal, they are classified on the basics of the following crystal lattice. Primitive lattice. In this lattice, the unit cells consist of eight kernel atoms. And all these kernel atoms contribute only one effective atoms of the lattice. So, basically primitive lattice means you have to take the just a cube. In a cube there are eight corner and in eight corner you have to situate eight corner atoms. And only one effective atoms of the lattice is contributes. Body center cubes or body center lattice. In this lattice, in addition to the eight corner atoms, it consists of one complete atom at the center. Face center lattice. In this lattice, along with the corner atoms, each face will have one center atoms. Base center lattice. In this lattice, along with the corner atoms and base and opposite face will have the center atoms. So, this is sample cubic, body center cubics and face center cubics. Simple cubic means 8 corner right atoms, body center cubics is 8 corner right atoms at one of the center of the body and face center is 8 corner of 8 atoms and every face is have 1 1 atoms that is 6 faces is 6 atoms. Crystal systems or bravo lattice. So, before also I am discuss about this uh, 7 types of lattice. So, basically you have to know that body center, 4 types unit cell, primitive, body center, face center and side center plus 7 crystal classes that is all is 14 types bravo lattice. Now, expression for lattice constant. In a cubic unit cell, the side of the cube are equal and constants which are known as lattice constant. A equal to B equal to C, this is called as lattice constant. Suppose a cube unit cell with lattice parameter is A equal to B equal to C and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma 90 degree. Suppose rho be the density of the cell. So, mass of the cubic unit cell is A q rho. You have to take equation 1. If M is the molecular weight of the cell and N naught A is the Avogadro's number. So, mass of each atoms in unit cell m by n. If small n is the number of atoms in unit cell, then mass of the cubic cell is small n m by n a. You have to know that n a is the average number. This is take is equation 2. From equation 1 and 2, you have to know that a q rho equal to n m by n a. So, a q equal to n m by rho capital N and this a equal to you have to find a equal to bracket start n m by rho n m bracket close one third. Now, important definitions atomic radius. 
So, atomic radius means the half of the distance between any two successive atoms in a crystal lattice is called atomic radius. Nearest neighbor distance. The distance between two nearest neighbor atoms in a crystal lattice is known as the nearest neighbor distance. Effective number of atoms per unit cell. The total number of atoms in a unit cell by considering the considering the contribution of corner atoms, center atoms and face center atoms is called effective number of atoms per unit cell. Coordination number. Coordination number it is denoted by capital N. The number of equidistant neighbors that an atoms has in a crystal lattice is known as coordination number. Coordination number of simple cubic is 6, body center cubic is 8 and face center cubic is 12. Atomic packing factors, atomic packing, uh, packing factor basically the ratio between total volume occupied by atoms in a unit cell divided by volume of the unit cell or the number of atoms present in a unit cell multiply by volume of the one atoms divided by volume of the unit cell. Intertrial space or void space. The empty space available in a crystal lattice with atoms occupying their respective positions is called intertrial space or void space. So, density you have to know that A q equal to n m by rho n or rho equal to small n m by A q rho n a. You have to know that n a means Avogadro's number or small is the number of atoms. In a simple cubic crystal structure, a simple cubic unit structure consists of a 8 corner atoms and it is a primitive cell. A lattice parameter in simple cubic mathematically A equal to B equal to C and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree. Now, effective number of atoms in a unit cell. So, in actual crystals each and every corner atoms is shared by 8 adjustment unit cell and there are each and every corner atoms contribute 1 by 8 of its part to the one unit cell. Hence, effective number of atoms in a unit cell 1 by 8 into 8 that is number of atoms per unit cell in simple cubic structure is only 1. Nearest neighbor distance let r be the radius of the spherical corner atoms then the nearest neighbor distance 2 r that is 2 atoms radius 1 is r plus r totals 2 r that is a. Now, coordination number for corner atoms there are 4 nearest neighbors in its own plane and there is 1 nearest neighbors in a plane which lies just above these atoms and even another nearest neighbors is another plane which lies just below these atoms. Therefore, the total number of nearest neighbor is 6 that is coordination number of simple cubic structure is 6. Atomic packing factors, a corner atom is shared by 8 unit cell, contribution of a corner atoms is 1 by 8, cube has 8 corners, hence contribution of 8 corner atoms is 1 by 8 multiplied by 8 that is only 1. So, number of atoms per unit cell in simple cubic is 1. If r is the radius of the atoms, distance between the center of two neighboring atoms that is 2 r equal to a 
r equal to a by 2. So, volume of one atom is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube or volume of the unit cell equal to a cube. So, atomic packing factor equal to total volume by atoms in a unit cell by volume of the unit cell that is total volume of the unit cell equal to 1 into 4 by 3 per r cube divided by a cube. So, that is 4 by by 3 per r cubes a, a value have to know that a equal to 2 r cube. So, after solving you get that pi by 6 and this pi by 6 value equal to atomic packing factor equal to 0 0.52 or that is 52 percent volume of the simple cubic cell occupied by the atoms. Example polonium crystals, hence this is structure is loosely packed. So, three dimensional beam showing the number of atoms per unit cell, simple cubic, body center cubics and fan center cubic. Body center structure, body center cubic structure consists of eight corner atoms and one body center atoms it is not a primitive cell. The lattice parameter A equal to B equal to C and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma 90 degree. Now, effective number of atoms in a unit cell. In BCC unit cell each and every corner atoms is shared by 8 adjacent unit cell. So, total number of atoms contributed by corner atoms 1 by 8 into 8 equal to 1. So, BCC unit cell has one full atoms at the center of the unit cell. So, the effective number of atoms present in a BCC unit cell 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So, number of atoms per unit cell in body center cubic structure equal to 2. Now, coordination number the nearest neighbors for a body center atoms is a corner atoms. The body center atoms is surrounded by 8 corner atoms. Therefore, the coordination number of BCC unit cell is 8. Atomic radius for BCC the atoms touch along the body diagonal. So, the diagonal length 4 r this is the 2 r and there are two side r so total 4 r from triangle a b c in this figure you have to mark the triangle a b c uh, b c side is a and a b equal to a so a c you have to find a square plus a square root over that is root 2 a according to Pythagoras formula uh, similarly triangle you have to take a c d a c d means a d square equal to a c square plus c d square. A c square you have to find 2 a square, c d square a square means 3 a square. So, a d you have to find root 3 a. So, therefore, root 3 a equal to 4 r total 4 r. So, r equal to root 3 by 4, root 3 by 4. So, packing factors total volume occupied by atoms in a unit cells by volume of the unit cell that is in body center cubic number of atom per unit cell equal to 2 and volume occupied in a unit cell 4 by 3 per r cubes divided by a cube. So, that is 8 pi r cube and 3 into you have to know that r value equal to a value equal to 4 by 3 4 by root 3 r into cube. So, packing factor equal to root 3 by 8 into pi means 0 0.68. So, atoms in BCC occupy 68 percent in space rest the empty and BCC is tightly packed than simple cubic structure and here voice, void spaces or entertained space is 32 percent. Example sodium, potassium, chromium, tungsten, etc. Phase center cubic structure. So, phase center cubic unit structure 
consists of 8 corner atoms and each phase has a center atoms. Lattice parameters A equal to B equal to C and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma 90 degree. Effective number of atoms in unit cell. Each unit cell consists of 1 by 8 into 8 corner atoms plus 1 by 2 into 6 phase atoms. So, total 1 by 1 plus 3 equal to 4 atoms. So, number of atoms per unit cell in phase center cubic equal to 4. So, to fit the same size sphere along the phase diagonal, the phase diagonal must 4 atoms at the radius of the sphere. So, you have to know that d equal to 4 r from Pythagoras phase diagonal d square equal to a square plus a square that is d equal to root 2 a. So, hence d equal to root 2 a means root 2 that is 4 r and r equal to root 2 by 4 into a. Coordination number for corner atoms there are four phase center atoms and these phase center atoms are its nearest neighbors. In a plane just above these corner atoms, it has four more phase center atoms. In a plane whose lies just below this corner, it has just you four more phase center atoms. Therefore, the nearest number of atoms is 12. So, one eighth of the atoms here and one half of the atoms. Packing factors each unit cell contain 1 by 8 into 8 corner atoms, 1 by 2 into 6 phase atom. So, total number of atoms per unit cell equal to 4. Here B equal to 4 R. So, B equal to you have to find A by root 2. So, A by root 2 equal to 4 R. So, A equal to 4 by root 2 into r or 2 root 2 r. So, volume of the atoms in the cell 4 into 4 by by 3 pi r q that is 16 by 3 pi r q. So, volume of a cube equal to a q. So, 2 root 2 r q means 16 root 2 r q. So, packing factor volume of the atoms by volume of the cube. So, volume of the atoms 16 by 3 pi r cube divided by volume of the cube means 16 root 2 r cube. So, you have to find pi by 3 root 2 after solving you get 0 0.74 means 74 percent packing factor of body center cubic. And example is nickel, silver, gold, copper and aluminum. Now, one of the example is I am uh, discuss about structure of diamond. You have to also familiar in diamond. So, diamond uh, unit cell is cubic. The unit cell has 8 atoms. This cubic structure of diamond is obtained by interpretation of 2 FCC sub lattice along the body diagonal by one fourth of the cubic edge. If x is one sub lattice, has it origin at 0, 0, 0. Other sub lattice y has it origin one fourth of a along the body diagonal a by 4, a by 4, a by 4. So, each atom has 4 bonds, hence coordination number is 4. Fraction represents 1 by 4, 1 by 2 and 3 by 4 at the height above the base units of the cube edge. In unit cell diamond has 8 corner atoms, 6 has center atoms, 4 more atoms located insides. So, number of atoms per unit cell. In diamond, there are 2 FCC lattice. The effective number of atoms per unit cell of BCC lattice is each unit cell contain 1 by 8 into 8 corner atoms plus 1 by 2 into 6 phase atoms. So, total number of atoms per unit cell equal to 4. 
and two FCC unit cell four plus four eight atoms and the effective number of atoms per unit cell in diamond is eight. Atomic radius let one sub lattice is x and other is y is one fourth away along the body diagonal consider the projection of atom y onto the bottom surface at z and joining x with z and to the edge of the cube xz square that is a by 4 ka square plus a by 4 ka square that is s square by 8 and xy square equal to xz square plus zy square s square by 8 plus s square by 16 that is 3 s square by 16 but xy square equal to 2r whole square that is 4 r square 4 r square equal to 3 s square by 16 then you get r equal to root 3 by 8 into a so packing factor total volume occupied by the atoms in a unit cell by volume of the unit cell so diamond has number of atom per unit cell 8 into 4 by by 3 per r q divided by a q that is you get it after solving 0 0.34 and 34 percent and here void space is 66 percent examples semiconductor germanium silicon possesses the structure now going to discuss about miller indices or it is also known as crystal planes miller indices are three smallest integers which have the same ratio is the reciprocal of the interprets of the crystal planes with the coordination coordinate axis there are set of three integers used to describe the orientation of the crystal planes so procedure to find the miller indices first the intercept marked by the crystal plane along x y and z axis in terms of lattice parameter a b c are noted a b c are noted second one the intercepts are expressed as multiple of a b c third one the reciprocal of the intercept are taken fourth the reciprocal of intercept the reciprocal are converted into integral by multiple of each one of them with their LCM. Fifth one, the integer are enclosed in a small parenthesis which represent the Miller indices of the crystal plane. Let the intercept by a given lattice plane on the three crystallographic axis x, y, z in the ratio p a q b rc where a b and c are primitive p q are the small integers this is reciprocal of p q r have taken 1 by p 1 by q 1 by r find smallest integers h k l such that h k l equal to h is 2 k is 2 l equal to 1 by p is to 1 by q is to 1 by r and the set of integer h k l is called miller indices example let the planes a b c has intercept of two unit along x axis three unit along y axis two unit along z axis intercept value are two three two reciprocal of the intercept first is 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 2 now smallest whole number is 6 by 2 6 by 3 and 6 by 2 so note while writing miller indices a comma or dot between any two num numbers may be avoided
the positive x axis is represented at 1 0 0 y axis is 0 1 0 z axis is 0 0 1 the negative x axis is 1 0 0 negative y axis is 0 1 0 and negative z axis is 0 0 1 important features Miller indices represent the orientation of crystal plane in a crystal lattice any plane parallel to one of these coordination coordinate axes will have infinite intercepts and the corresponding Miller indices becomes zero a plane passing through the origins is defined in terms of, of a parallel plane having non-zero intercepts if Miller indices of the plane have the same ratio then the plane are parallel to each other example 211 and 422 if a plane is parallel to any axis its fractional intercept is taken as infinity hence corresponding index is zero if a plane codes a negative y axis sorry if a plane codes a negative axis the corresponding index is negative cubic system direction hkl is always perpendicular to the plane hkl the plane NH, NK, NL are parallel to HKL and have 1 by nth spacing. So here given the 0, 1, 1 means Z axis is 1, here X axis is also 1, positive X axis and positive Y axis also 1 and 1, 1 plane X1 and Z1. So, so figure are given the indicates so this is 0 1 0 and z axis given y axis 0 0 1 means z 1 1 and y 1 1 complement 0 0 2 0 0 space between the lattice planes distance of separation hkl plane let oa ob oc be the orthogonal axis consider a plane abc with mi hkl passing through origin let on equal to d is the normal to the plane ABC which is the interplus spacing for another plane XYZ. Let XYZ makes intercept A by H, B by K, C by L along three axes. Let alpha, beta and gamma be the angles made by the normal to XYZ axis. So cos alpha equal to D by OA that is d by a by s mean dh by a similarly cos beta equal to dk by b cos gamma equal to dl by c from this slope of directional cosine cos square alpha cos square beta plus cos square gamma equal to 1 so cos alpha you to know as dh by a ka whole square dk by b ka whole square dl by c ka square equal to 1 so if you take the common d square bracket start h by a ka whole square plus k by b ka whole square plus 1 by l by c ka square equal to 1 for cubic lattice a equal to b equal to c so d square h by a ka square plus k by a ka square plus l by a ka square equal to 1 or d square by a square equal to you have to find 1 by a square plus k square plus l square or d by a equal to root over 1 by a square plus k square plus l square or d equal to a by root over a square plus k square plus l square so today's lecture is finished thank you